Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to One Year 365. And also welcome back to Christmas Holiday Mini Series Part 2. This is part 2 of 7 parts of uh, Christmas Holiday Mini Series in which we'll talk anything about Christmas Holiday pretty much. And this is the second part and today we will actually discuss or talk about the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, that is the song one. Uh, I think there is like two, um, there is actually an article about the 12 days of Christmas, but I kind of want to cover this one. The reason why is because um, when I was a kid, uh, what is it like, when I was a kid, uh, when I was like um, kindergarten or something like that, uh, well, not really kindergarten, but even that probably is older than me uh, was actually but yeah um, so there is these like CDs um, like CD that my parents had uh, well for children anyway and it's in English I actually already mentioned about this uh, but I'm actually going to mention about this again so pretty much it's a CD and in the CD there's like um, a compilation of cartoon and uh, songs and anything that um has anything in english pretty much and yeah there's that so it's like a teletubbies themed um yeah it's like teletubbies pretty much teletubbies pretty much um however it's not actual teletubbies show but more like um teletubbies uh what is it like there's like uh, Teletubbies playing in the in the screen. However, the the sound is um, changed to like a song and etc etc. And then there is also like English as well, like English courses, like uh, let's say um, like colors, right? There's there's colors like um, red. It's you know the color red is called red, and then the color blue is called blue, and etc etc. But yeah, and, and then there's like fruit as well, etc. So there's a lot of things pretty much. It's more like uh, English for kids pretty much. And yeah, um, so yeah, I guess I have learned English since I was a kid pretty much. Or even from babies, who knows. But there's that anyway. And anyway, uh, the reason why I, tell, I told that is because in one of the many songs that is in that cd one of them is this 12 the 12 days of christmas song and you know um when i was a kid listening to this it's actually a great uh what is it like the the melody is nice um and then the song is kind of easy to remember as well because it's pretty much counting down from 12 to 1 right so yeah like again this is pretty much counting uh, numbers from you know like 1 2 3 and until 12 and it's great for kids as well i think and yeah that's why i like this song so i still remember this um until now i still remember the melody but i forgot about the uh the lyrics so i guess that's why we will probably see the lyrics somewhere down the lines but there's that um, anyway, let's actually um, start discussing. I kind of want to know, okay, the question will be, um, obviously, the origins as well. When when I discuss about all these things, um, I kind of want to know what was the origin of it, uh, like historically speaking, like um, the first time it got introduced or um, who made it, who, who sang it, or uh, yeah, there's pretty much about the background story of the discussion pretty much and then uh, what else do I want to ask uh, is there any question uh, no probably the lyrics pretty much I kind of want to know the lyrics as well like uh, probably like the meaning why uh, why there are five golden rings why uh, why there are four calling birds why there are three French hands why there are two turtle uh not turtle what is it called again something doves and you know why why is there a partridge in a pear tree so yeah that's pretty much what I, <laughs> if there is any meaning about the lyrics uh that'll be great uh that's probably the question that i want to ask but yeah let's actually start uh the Dark days of christmas is an english christmas carol a classic example of a cumulative song the lyrics detail a series of increasingly numerous gifts given on each of the 12 days of Christmas. 
the 12 days that make up the Christmas season starting with Christmas Day. Oh, I see. So the 12 days is um, 12 days after the 25th of December or the Christmas Day pretty much. Ah, I see. Uh, the carol whose words were first published in England in the late 18th century has a route, a route folk song index number of 68. A large number of different melodies have been associated with the song, of which the best known is derived from 1909, arrangement of a traditional folk, uh, folk uh, melody by English composer Frederick Austin. Okay, so uh, in England... Uh, 18th century. Okay, interesting. So yeah, uh, 18th century. I think it is. Uh, uh what is it? 18th century. Uh, so it's about 1700 something. Uh, pretty much. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas. Okay, so there's partridge in a pear tree, two uh doves, three hens, four birds, five golden rings, six uh. Keys, I think, or goose, or keys, I think. Seven swan, eight, um, something. What is it like? Mate, I think. What is it? I don't know. Uh, nine is dancers, dancers dancing, I think. And then there's ten. Uh, I'm not sure what's different between nine and ten. Eleven pipers piping. Uh, twelve something. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Oh, there we go. There's lyrics over there. So yeah, published in 1780. Yeah, like I said, that is in um, it's in the 18th century. It means it's uh somewhere along 1700. Uh, the year 1700, pretty much. Uh, starting from that. A genre Christmas carol, composer traditional with editions by Frederick Austin. Okay, so that's pretty much the background of that. Uh, and then lyrics. Okay, let's see if there is um, what is it like? If there is um, a meaning about that uh, okay I see the lyrics there but yeah let's actually uh, read this first is a cumulative song meaning that its first is built on top of the previous verses uh, oh I see so that what means by cumulative song so when the first lyric is a and then the, the next lyric will be a uh, repeated and then B after that uh, or vice versa like B or a right so it's more like ascending or descending order, pretty much. And then after A, uh, after P, then A, then there is C. It means C will be uh, first, so it'll be C, P, then A. So yeah, the the previous lyrics is pretty much uh, mentioned, re-mentioned again. I see. Um, there are twelve verses. It's describing a gift given by my true love on one of the twelve days of Christmas. There are many variations in the lyrics. The lyrics given here are from Frederick Austin's 1909 publication that established the current form of the carol. The first three verses run in full as follows. Uh, oh, there's only three. Okay, it's fine. So on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a part three. It's in a pear tree. I think that's something like that. Uh, on the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me uh, two turtle doves. Oh, it, it is turtle doves. I think... You know, like, it's kind of, um, you know, I was kind of confused as well as to why there is turtle, right? I think it's about the doves. Uh, maybe turtle is like a, a variant of doves, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, and then, and a partridge in a pear tree. So, yeah, as you can see over here, it's it's mentioned again. Uh, and then on the third day, uh, there's three French hands. Uh, okay, so this is pretty much gifts that the true love gave to someone else, pretty much. So there is a partridge in a pear tree. I'm not sure how they gifted that. Maybe they gifted the only the partridge, and that's pretty much it. Um, not with the actual pear tree. Also, it's a little bit weird as well that they, uh, the person just randomly caught a uh, partridge and then sent this as a gift. Um, you know, it's a little bit weird, but all right. Uh, and then there is two turtle doves as well. Um, and a partridge in the pear tree, okay, and then three French hands, okay, uh, but yeah, and then, uh, verse follows the same pattern, it's verse deals with the next day of Christmas tide, adding one new gift, and then repeating all the earlier gifts, so that its words is one line longer than its predecessor, okay, uh, four calling birds, okay, so, okay, so, it's interesting, there are actually multiple birds given here. Okay, there are many apes, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, with the 
um, duck, or what is it called again? The geese, and then the swan as well. So there are six apes, and then one cows, I guess. So that's seven animals, and then golden rings, and then four people, I think. All right. Uh, interesting that there are a lot of animals being mentioned there. Um, and then five gold rings or golden rings. I think the, the lyrics is golden rings though. Uh, six keys are laying. Okay. Uh, and then seven swans are swimming. Uh, eight mates are milking. Okay. Yeah, that's the mates. Oh, this one's interesting. You give... You give that eight mates are milking or... You give that milk or you, sh you, you know, uh, it's a little bit weird now that there's uh, the people over here, like nine ladies dancing. Um, yeah, like it's about things that they gift, right? Yeah, this one, new gift. How did they uh, gift people? Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure how this works honestly but all right um maybe it's not really physically given but more like uh oh come here let me show you something uh, and then shows uh there are eight mates that currently milking cows probably so you know this is the gift uh pretty much that um your knowledge that uh maybe milks you know milk comes from cows and then um, and then you pretty much give the milk as the the actual gift probably and then ladies dancing This is not actually ladies that's being given. Maybe it's like a perf performance pretty much like there are nine uh, You know ladies dancing. It's like a show and then uh, maybe the true love brought the um, The person into like some kind of show like uh, art show or something and then there are nine ladies dancing pretty much and then ten lords are leaping. Um, what was that again? Ten lords are leaping. Uh, okay, this one. Yeah, it's probably maybe it's from the same the same show as well. And then eleven pipers again, like maybe in the orchestral um, occasion or event or something like that. In uh, maybe like uh, yeah, like pretty much uh, event, pretty much. And then twelve drummers drumming. So it's. Yeah, it's the same as well, like pipers, there's drummers, and then there's lords, ladies as well. This looks like opera, if you ask me. Maybe the the last four days, they went into um, into downtown, in the downtown, and just, you know, like watch uh, a show pretty much. And then there, there's like uh, multiple shows that are running pretty much. I think that's what happened. But then again, it's not mentioned here. Maybe it's mentioned over here. There's actually a passage over here. Yeah, this one over here. Maybe it is um, mentioned over here. But no, I think this is just the lyrics though. Uh, uh, yeah, this is just the lyrics because it's, you know, everything is... As you can see in the final lyrics, there's a partridge in a pear tree pretty much. So it's just the lyrics. Okay, so yeah, we don't know again about the history about this uh, pretty much. It doesn't get mentioned but all right um the earliest known publication were an illustrated children's book uh okay and then uh there are variation uh i actually wonder what will be the variation actually in the earliest version the word on is not present at the beginning of its first oh like on the first day okay so that's only the first day of okay okay on was added in austin's 1909 version and became very popular thereafter uh oh yeah obviously i mean yeah i mean it's just for a preposition but all right in the early versions my true love sent me the gifts however 20th century gave to me ah yeah i know the word gave actually this wording has been become particularly common in north america Ah, I see. Yeah, I actually remember it pretty well that it's actually gave, not sent. Uh, because it's probably more easier to uh, pronounce gave than sent. Because there's like the T in the D D N. So, uh, sent to me. Uh, I mean, eh, not really. Actually, there's gave to me or sent to me. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, sent means that you send it um like delivery probably and well gave means like it's personally gave that uh so maybe they use the word caves as as in um 
actually giving so yeah uh, if you you know like send like send an email send uh, a package or send a, a box or something like that it's not like send it's indirectly pretty much so yeah uh, give is more like directly but i think that's it um well I, I that's what i guess anyway but yeah okay i have five more minutes but that's about it uh the gifts come from my mother rather than my true love oh uh, okay and then there is juniper tree or juniper tree rather than pear tree okay partridge uh, partridge juniper tree or partridge juniper tree oh okay uh so there's partridge okay there's interesting because you know you you either you gave the bird or the the apple tree or the the pear tree pretty much and it's that uh four collie birds okay uh call black oh it's like a black birds actually okay um canary birds or colored birds curly birds and curly birds okay i think calling birds i think uh yeah i, I remember it being calling as well uh the four they give to four calling birds and this is very nice become the most popular or the collie is still found okay five gold golden rings yeah uh, okay like i said as well i think it's golden and it's true probably especially in northern america because i think um yeah one syllable i'm about to say this as well like uh five gold rings like you're missing uh, a syllable there like golden ring right so there's that turn uh the en as the in the golden uh so yeah there's that um the gifts associated with the final four days are often reordered for example the pipers may be on the ninth day rather than 11th oh i see but i think it's about uh yeah it also makes sense as well because um nine ladies dancing 10 lords 11 pipers 12 drummers that doesn't actually rhyme like this one seven swan there's like that s and s and then six and then kiss uh, there's s there uh yeah well there's that also but then again uh, i feel like it's you know um uh, it's pretty flexible i guess but all right um okay there's that four k for ease of comparison uh given above uh okay oh this is just what it looks like i see uh okay gonna skip this because we already pretty much covered this and that's about it uh what is it again um similar community first from scotland the yule days has been likened to the 12 days of christmas in the scholarly literature it has 13 days rather than 12 and the number of gifts does not increase in the manner of the 12 days its final first uh run as follows uh, three stocks of merry corn, three mates of merry dancing, three hinds of merry hunting, an Arabian baboon, three swans of merry swimming, ducks laying, a bull that was brown. Oh, okay, that was brown. That's a bit weird. Okay, I thought that bull only has one color, uh, one color, but all right. Uh, maybe it's different uh, again with you know depending on the weather uh, I live in a country where there's only two seasons or two yeah two seasons so there's probably nothing like this but I can see how this can be uh, affecting the animals at the four season uh, countries pretty much three gold spings three starlings a goose that was gray and then three plovers three partridges a pie a pip a pippin go a okay what learns my carol and carries it away uh also spelled papingo a oh okay uh scott's word for peacock or parrot i see uh faroe island uh, i think we actually covered faroe island as well it's a, it's the island that has the the heads i think the 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 what is it the moai i think uh in the what is it like a month ago i believe but yeah um okay there's that uh more lyrics changed pretty much i think yeah again this is in other countries pretty much and then the the thing that caused uh what is it the lyrics got uh yeah got changed uh origins we already know about that and then after that manner of performance okay um okay uh yeah, there is no actually meaning, I don't think, as to why they gave that specific gifts. 
I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there is, but yeah, I don't actually see. Yeah, meaning of the gifts. Okay, here we go. Uh, parties in the pear tree. That pear tree is a corruption of. Okay. Um, what is it? Uh, Merry little partridge. Okay. Uh, okay. What's the what's the what's the what's the meaning though? Like why partridge? Uh, it doesn't actually mention here, but. All right, uh, French hands. Uh, what about two turtle doves? It's also not mentioned here as well. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Uh, French hands. Uh, why? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, okay. And then falling, calling birds. It's about um. Collie means black, so black birds, I see. Yeah, but why black birds though? Uh, oh, I see, so there's that. Um, and then gold rings. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say any of these words, so that's why I'm not saying it. Uh, but yeah, five golden rings. Here we go, What? what's about five golden rings? Um... It mentions about jewelry, okay, so it just means uh, jewelry, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, okay, and then, okay, there's no more. Okay, uh, interesting. Music, um, uh, okay, so this is the note, I guess you can pretty much use this yourself. Oh, this is the guy, the Frederick Austin. Okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, if you ask me, uh, well, the person looks like they can actually play song, uh, honestly speaking. But yeah, uh, the guy looks like um, he is master at, uh, you know, playing music, honestly. But all right, uh, okay. Um, there's that, what is that, what else? Uh uh okay there's that yeah it's just the the melody the sheet note pre pretty much uh okay and then there's there's a uh, parodies and other version as well i guess this is yeah like this is for modern era, uh, era pretty much um okay and okay well that's actually a lot of uh reference there that got um what is it like that got uh, mentioned? Oh, the list just keeps going. Okay, interesting. Uh, what was the the most recent one though? Uh, I don't see anything that mentioned like 2020 or something. 2021, 2022. There's none, I guess. Well, um, uh, if there is anything, it will probably get updated like in few years, like far in the future, and you know, like uh. Like the way we see 2000 uh, and let's say 2010 uh, at this point in time right now. Uh, maybe, you know, like in 2030, probably there's like, uh, yeah, in 2022, there is some uh, reference about the song as well. Uh, maybe. Christmas price index. Okay. Don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, that's just pretty much it, I guess. So there you have it. That is the 12 days of Christmas, the song. I know this when I was a kid because you know from the CD that I had, uh, it's no longer here. I don't think uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's here anymore. Uh, so there's like a big flood that happened in two thousand and six, I believe, um, in in my house. Well, not my yeah, in in my parents' house, uh, and a lot of stuff got. What is it like? It was a big flood that we didn't anticipate. It it pretty much just um, it was like a disaster. It's like the worst time in our life. Honestly, we didn't expect that to coming. So it's just like heavy rain for a week straight, I think. And you know, in one day, uh, one day there's like um, in the morning it's clear. However, um the water start rising up and at first it's like uh like in front of the house it's like at the street uh however um the water kept increasing the level kept increasing and the water level keeps in kept increasing and yeah it, it eventually got into like um at the height of adult chest pretty much or even not actually it's higher than that like 
um, okay, we're Asian, we're short, and um, ba- pretty much we will it will cover our entire body. So let's see, it's probably like uh, almost two meters, I guess. Not really two meters, but. 1.8 meters or something what 1.8 1.7 probably uh yeah it's it's deep um and yes uh we didn't have second floor just yet at the time and yeah a lot of things got um flooded like you know the the furniture the books and then one of them being my cds as well like all those cities got uh, covered in water not only water by the way it's a river water pretty much it's brown it's you know like full of bacteria and stuff like that um it's you know like it's not pure water as well and it probably damaged uh, the the thing and yeah uh yeah it broke <laughs> the city the city's broke and also among other things as well but yeah like i said it's one of the saddest day i would say in in my life as well uh, i was kid and i probably will save this in the future as well because it's already been 25 minutes i kind of want to make this only more like 20 minutes but yeah that's about that's about it pretty much but anyway i think that'll be it for this second part of the christmas holiday mini series uh part two we talk about the 12 days of christmas pretty much uh the song that I know knew from my childhood pretty much um, and that's about it uh, anyway thank you guys for watching this has been uh, one year to six five the podcast I hope you guys enjoy it stay safe stay healthy I will see you again tomorrow with another discussion stay safe stay healthy I will see you again very soon and see ya